Hello and welcome to this video. My name is, as you may or may not know, Hayden McLennan, and this is my new printer. So this is a Ricoh SPC340DN. It is a color laser printer. It, uh, yeah, there's not really much to say about it. No, I'm kidding. Uh, so yeah, it's a color laser printer. It is pretty small. It weighs 29 kilos, uh, and um, it's network equipped. It has a 500 sheet paper tray and an external feed or bypass tray that can take up to A4 size. It also can take letters and A4 sheets. Uh, this printer cannot print in A3 paper. It can only print in A4. See, A4 paper. Uh, this paper here is Fuji Xerox paper so, and it works just fine. I don't know why it wouldn't, uh, but you know, some people are, you know, random like that. So that uh, this is how you load it in the external paper feed tray. You make sure your paper is uh, in a nice tidy manner, then you chuck it in there. Then you, the, these thingies move together, so you do that until it's tight, and you just back it off a little bit, and you make sure it's in there a bit more, then you do that. So that's the printer. Uh, I will just um, I'll keep that open for now. What I will show you is how it prints. So to turn it on, I just hit OK. And then it turns on. This has a um, power save mode that it goes into. I've set it to go into there after one minute because it only uses five watts in that. Uh, you have your lights down here for power alert and data in. And uh, if we go into the menu, then we go into test print. I'll show you the prints. So I will do you a color print, color demo page. And there you go. As you can see, it wasn't the fastest printer in the world, but it's certainly not the slowest. Uh, and it's pretty good for its size and its price. Uh, I, only, I didn't pay too much for this, and it was direct from Rico as well. I got it in a contract. Here is the cost per page. It is 2.4 cents per page for black and white and 15 for color. And that works out to be $12 per 500 black and white and 75 per 500 color. And I have them blacked out because that is the so I can order new toner and stuff. And I don't want multiple toners going to my house. Uh, anyway, up here, uh, if I if I uh, pull up on this thing here, that releases. And this is your toner. Uh, this is cyan. That's what a toner cartridge looks like. Nothing very special there. And I can tell you from experience, cyan is going to be the last one to go. Now these ones here are the very low starter yield ones. You can get um, bigger, a lot bigger um, ones that can do thousands of prints. So here is the spec page of this printer. Uh, so far we've done almost 50 black and white and 6 colour, or 55 black and white and six color I think that is no total 55 black and white 49 color six okay that makes sense and it has two gig of memory but some of that's taken up by the web interface and such uh, and yeah there's not really much to say about it um, yeah it's uh, a really nice printer uh, it prints really well and I did do some test prints of my uh, SPC 430 before I had to give it or before I gave it back because uh, before be, because the power supply made an odd noise it was a switch mode power supply and some people have issues with hearing like a buzz or a whistle and uh, I was one of those people which is a shame because it was a really nice printer but uh, this is uh, the replacement for it see it just flicked off this is the replacement that I got it's cheaper to run this one as well uh, the other one was 15 cents for color and 5 cents for black and white, this is 2.4 cents for black and white and 
uh, 15 cents for color so same color but cheaper black and white um, and in Windows you can set the default print settings to print default in black and white anyway so uh, yeah it's quite a cheap printer to run and it has the carbon zero thing which you know carbon emissions and shit I know some people don't like printers because they want a paperless society but that's not going to happen anytime soon because in some jobs you just need paper. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is, as you know, Hayden McLennan. If you did enjoy this video, give it a like. If you didn't like it, leave a comment saying what I can improve for next time. Also, remember to visit the website www.myplaceandyt.co.nz. Alright, thanks.